The thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland. It resides within the neck. It produces thyroid hormone, which is important in controlling bodily function. Thyroid hormone drives every cell in the body and keeps your metabolic rate going at a normal level. If the thyroid gland is producing too many of these hormones, we'll tend to lose weight, and if it produces too little, then everything will tend to slow down. Without thyroid hormone, all the cells slow down, their metabolism eventually stops, you develop very serious illness, and eventually would die without thyroid hormone. Thyroid cancer is quite a rare condition. It's got an instance of about two per hundred thousand. So to put it in context, if you serve a population of one million, you're going to perhaps see 20 to 30 new cases a year. The most common thyroid cancer is papillary thyroid cancer, and the second most common is follicular thyroid cancer. And those two cancers arise from the follicular cells. Less commonly, a cancer can arise in the C cells or the parafollicular cells, and that is called medullary thyroid cancer, and that's treated quite differently. Rarely, thankfully, there's a more aggressive type of thyroid cancer called anaplastic thyroid cancer, and that usually arises again from the follicular cells. We don't really know what causes thyroid cancer in most cases, but many thyroid cancers are sensitive to particular hormones, and we think that because they're much more common in women that it's probably hormone related in most cases. We know that the thyroid gland is very sensitive to radiation. The radiation is certainly one causative factor for particularly papillary thyroid cancer and that may be radiation from accidents such as Chernobyl or Fukushima in Japan or from radiotherapy treatment in the past for, for example, if uh, children or adolescents have radiotherapy as part of the treatment of cancers in childhood, they are at risk of developing thyroid cancer in the future. Most patients will not have done anything that will have caused the, the cancer. It's not smoking related, it's not diet related. At the end of the day, it's going to be due to some change in the genes that regulate control cell growth and we're beginning to understand that area a little bit more.